If you're watching this video, it is probably because you want to know more about how short food supply chain can be improved or taking up as enterprises. Well, you're in the right place. Let us share with you 12 success cases across Europe, which we hope will inspire you and help you understand better the benefits of closing the distance between food producers and consumers. AgroBridges presents Yes, you can! 12 Success Case Examples of Short Food Supply Chains Success Case 1 Airfield Island Let's start our journey in Dublin, Ireland. Built around a 38-acre state comprising farm and woodland, a farm shop, a farmer's market, an award-winning restaurant, gardens, the original family home and associated buildings, this non-profit organisation provides a range of services and activities to raise awareness and provide education to many target groups. Working with a range of partners, Airfield helps develop life skills for children and offers adults the opportunity to learn and socialise in a relaxed and friendly atmosphere. There's a traditional Montessori school and after-school care for children, as well as a flexible education programme for primary, secondary and university students, which has been developed in partnership with the Teaching Council in Ireland to help the students learn about food, farming and the natural world in an active, hands-on way. This good practice reflects Airfield State's mission, which is to inspire and enable people to make better food choices because even small changes can be better for health, better value for money and better for the environment. Success Case 2 Bio Alverde, Spain Located in Sevilla, Spain, Bio Alverde is a non-profit and inclusion company that pursues the inclusion of people who are in situation of social exclusion or at risk of social exclusion. Bio Alverde raises people's awareness and increases fair and sustainable consumption through the operation of a 30 hectare ecological farm cooperation with other ecological farmers and the distribution of the products using a nearby SFSC approach. The consumption model of society oftentimes leads to a situation of poverty and exclusion. However, Bio Alverde follows the principles of the social and solidarity economy which puts people, the environment and sustainable development first. This approach is a transformative initiative which seeks to put people at the centre. Therefore, one of Bio Alverde's key values is to offer products that come from processes that respect people's rights and the environment and lead to a sustainable lifestyle which are necessary steps for confronting exclusion and conserving natural resources at the same time. Success Case 3 Fru Mollers Molleri, Denmark Further up north is Danish Fru Mollers Molleri which has a very wide range of products and experiences for the consumer. On the farm there is a mill, farm shop, ice cream parlour and restaurant. On the shelves are handmade products made out of raw materials which come from Fru Moller's agricultural production. Take for instance Fru Moller's Molleri freshly ground flour. Grain is grown on the farm and then ground into flour using a slow moving stone grinder that ensures that the flour is filled with nutrients and has the perfect baking ability. In addition, since 2007, Fru Moller's Molleri has been inviting guests to its farm shop where local products and selected products from other parts of the country can be found. You can also attend a cooking school and cook your favourite meal based on seasonal local ingredients or buy products from the web shop. Fru Moller's Molleri can be considered a pace setter as it is the first in Denmark to create an overall concept for production, processing, farm sales and experiences for consumers that attract both locals and tourists from far and wide. It has become an excursion destination. Success Case 4 Kindergarten Das Ginelis, Lithuania Kindergarten Das Ginelis is the first private kindergarten in Vilnius, Lithuania. Established in an individual house with a small enclosed courtyard and near the forest, 
The kindergarten is a cosy, warm, healthy, natural oasis for children to grow. Small groups, daily production of fresh food, individual attention, upholding forgotten values and developing a healthy lifestyle are some of the core values of the kindergarten. The short food supply chain model involves buying organic food from farmers and selling it to the parents of kindergarten children, as well as producing food from organic products and supplying food and organic products to other kindergartens. Kindergarten baked organic bread has become popular among the surrounding residents of the district, so bread and bread products are also available to the general public. Success Case 5 Magbun, Italy. Have you ever thought about eating agro burgers? Magbun is a short supply chain agri burger shop established in 2009 that uses only meat from animals raised on the farm with local corn, barley, wheat, and forage. The farm is eco sustainable and has invested in photovoltaics in order to be energy independent for eight months of the year. Over 92% of purchases are made directly and without intermediaries from Piedmont's suppliers so as to ensure the quality and freshness of the product. Particular attention is paid to tradition and sustainability. For instance, desserts are offered in jars that can be taken home to reuse and disposable tableware made of biodegradable and fully compostable materials and a doggy bag are available for food that is not consumed. Quality, attention to sustainability and local products are the strong points that bring the producer closer to the consumer. The consumer can also find all the information about the product on the blackboards displayed inside the stores. And the opportunity to visit the farm is also offered to consumers. Success Case 6 Podkarpacki Smaki, Poland In Poland, Podkarpacki Smaki is part of a cluster supporting producers by acquiring external funds, providing training and stimulating their integration with the scientific community. It also focuses on promoting regional, traditional and ecological products produced in the Podkarpacki Voivodeship. Numerous old traditional products can be found in this part of Poland, which is complemented by the richness of cultural traditions or the various ethnicities that have lived here over the centuries. Apart from traditional dishes, there are various types of cheeses, cured meats, honey, baked goods, processed fruits and vegetables or dried goods made by local producers, all created with love and passion for tasty, healthy foods. Part of Podkarpaski Smaki's activities is the Podkarpaski Tastes Culinary Trail, one of the longest culinary routes in Poland. In several places on the Podkarpaski Tastes Culinary Trail, it is possible to find a specially prepared and labelled Podkarpaski Tastes Shelf, which has regional, traditional and ecological products from local producers. In 2020, an online store was launched followed by a retail store and warehouse located in Agrohurt, the Agricultural Commodity Exchange. Success Case 7 – Red Streaks, Netherlands In the Netherlands, Red Streaks provide an online platform where consumers can order local agri-food products from. After the orders have been collected, local producers are informed and the food products are picked up and transported to Red Streaks distribution centres. From there, the products are sent to regional pickup points where consumers can collect their orders. The main benefits for the producers are that they receive a higher share of the final selling price compared to using traditional channels and can increase their sale volumes. They are also able to reach consumers directly. For consumers, the main benefits are that they have access to locally produced food, information about the origin of the food, and the producer can easily be found via the Rich Streaks platform and a variety of food products, whether it is fruits, vegetables, dairy products or meat, can be picked up from one pickup point in the neighbourhood. The system also reduces food waste because deliveries are prepared based on consumer orders. Success Case 8 
Reco Food Collective Finland. What about Finland? The Reco retail and distribution model is the most famous example of a local food collective that offers consumers a way of ordering products directly from the producer without the need for middlemen. The Reco collectives operate via Facebook as close groups in which orders and deliveries are agreed upon. Often, a large number of households place an order for local food directly to the producer. The groups are run by volunteers who do not receive payment for their contributions. The producer announces the goods that are available for sale in the Facebook group about a week before the distribution. Producers also announce the method of payment and when the order will close. The notice also specifies the price for each product. Buyers in turn comment on the producer's sales announcement, stating what they want to order and the quantity. The agreement is binding on both parties. Orders are placed at varying intervals and can be picked up either from the producer or from a place agreed with the producer. Only products that have been pre-ordered in a closed Facebook group can be sold at the distribution. Success Case 9 Spygi.lv Latvia Another digital solution is the eShop www.svaigi.lv, which is a cooperative shop made of various small farmers and food producers all over Latvia. In addition to food, it also offers organic cleaning supplies, cosmetics, packaging and products for pets. At the eShop, it is possible to order regular delivery of various seasonal agricultural products. The model caters to the needs of urban residents as it allows them to get fresh produce without investing too much time by physically visiting farmers, markets or shops. Also, it is easy to make baskets with a range of products or choose already assembled baskets, thereby saving more time. In today's time-constrained society, it is a good solution that offers the same products as physical farmers' markets at any time. Online shops have customer service channels such as email, telephone, chat apps and social media. And even though face-to-face -face communication is an important part of the sales culture in traditional farmers' markets, the idea of online shops is fast gaining ground as a way of tackling the impact of COVID-19. Success Case 10 – Telaraki, Greece In Greece, the new startup Telaraki.com sells high-quality and affordable fresh fruit and vegetables to local consumers on a subscription basis. Customers can purchase subscription packages on the Telaraki.com website to order fruit and vegetables regularly for a fixed price and have them delivered in wooden cases. Customers can choose 4 to 12 pieces of fruit and vegetables from a wide variety of seasonal produce, while an algorithm calculates quantities that match the subscription amount. The content of the order can be changed each week. Subscription packages include single person, couple and family packages. To ensure that products are delivered in the freshest possible form to consumers, the website accepts weekly orders and deliveries are carried out on standard days of the week. This way, storage needs and food waste are minimal. In addition, the packaging in which deliveries arrive for customers is made either from paper or wood to avoid environmental degradation from the use of plastics. Success Case 11 The Clostramur, France the Clostramur farm has four hectares of an orchard with fertile, deep and irrigated soils located at the confluence of the Loire River and the main river. The Clostramur offers local peasant baskets which can be ordered online so that every week a basket with seasonal local products can be created. Alternatively, a subscription can be paid for recurring orders. There is even the option of renting out parts of the plot to consumers. In essence, this business model proposes to make a plot, a meeting and union place, so as to promote an educational and coexistence area of 500 square meters for members of the association and subscribers. Success Case 12 Women's Cooperative Turkey 
Women's cooperatives produce local and domestic solutions to common problems faced especially as a result of COVID-19 and play an important role in the development of the short food supply chain by creating social and economic values. It is one of the important tools in promoting the SFSCs in Turkey, especially as women take an active leading role in this process. From the 12 success cases you have seen, you will discover that there are so many ways sustainable SFSC business models can be created. Some of them include e-commerce, digital engagement, making fast foods with local products or providing food tourism. These are just a few examples of how you as a farmer and brand owner can be empowered to connect with the consumer to provide high quality products and ensure sustainability in the long term for your business. We hope you've been inspired by these success cases and if you're wondering if you will succeed, we believe, yes you can!